And story after story, it seems like everyone just can't wait to pack up their bags and head on down the road to become a newly transplanted Texan. The reasons for this can vary, but you know people are always thinking about that nice, warm Texas weather. Hey, Joel. Everyone thinks of warm weather when they think of Texas, but our state its way more than a one-trick pony when it comes to Mother Nature. So before you consider a move or that next trip around the state, let's look at five different climate conditions you can experience, yet still somehow be in good old Texas. Let's start right here in our backyard in East Texas. When it comes to living with moisture and humidity, there are a few places that can beat the piney woods from the Arklatex all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Southerly winds keep us stuck in hot and humid weather for months and under the threat of storms pretty much every spring. Rainfall totals can range from around 46 inches here in Tyler to get this all the way up to 60 inches down in the Gulf. Speaking of the Gulf, if you're looking for a place to relax, the Gulf region is the place to do it. Who needs Florida anyways? With gorgeous beaches stretching the coast from Galveston to Corpus Christi and down to South Padre Island, you can take a vacation without ever leaving home. That isn't to say the weather is never a problem. This is hurricane country and Texas can see one almost every year. In fact, since records have been kept, the longest stretch without a hurricane in Texas was just 10 years. Whoa, it's a little windy out there. 10 years without a storm, that would be an eternity when talking major storms in North Texas. Tornadoes are a yearly issue when it comes to living on the southern end of Tornado Alley. Just ask the residents of DFW. All the modern conveniences of big city life with all the severe weather of the open plains. In fact, going back to 1956, Tarrant and Dallas counties have only seen nine years where a tornado was not recorded between them. The numbers add up to 194 tornadoes in just 63 years, or averaging about three per year. Okay, so as an El Paso native, I know the solution to avoiding all this wet and stormy weather. All you gotta do is just move to the desert. Believe it or not, humidity can drop from an average of 98% in Houston to just 8% in El Paso during the summer months. So that just leaves the 15 or so small to sometimes large dust storms every year. Uh, okay, maybe a little moisture wouldn't hurt too bad. True, but that's going to depend on the temperature when that moisture moves through. If your goal in Texas is to be as far away from winter weather as possible, you need to stay far away from the panhandle. Wait a second. Just because I live in Michigan, y'all are gonna make me talk about snow. And I was trying to get away from this stuff. Okay, if you want to find the white stuff in Texas, the Panhandle is the spot to do it. Amazingly, the town of Amarillo, right in the center of the Panhandle, averages around 19 inches of snow per year and has already had a storm drop five and a half inches in one round back in late October of 2019. Really, Joel, would you put that out of coat? So that's just a taste of the weather and climate Texas can offer up, but we wouldn't have it any other way. So get out and enjoy Texas. Your local meteorologists have always got you covered.